you guys. Uh, Terry Purdue. Again, uh, I want to teach y'all a little about uh, setting your intonation on your guitar. Um, you don't just set your intonation on a guitar, on any stringed instrument. You have to set your intonation. If you don't, you're going to be out of tune up all the way up your fretboard. I don't care if you're playing the guitar or a bass or violin or whatever. Any stringed instrument, if you don't have the intonation set, you are going to be out of tune as you come up the neck. You may be able to be in tune. But if you come up the neck, you may be out of tune. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, first of all, if you got like what I'm playing, I'm playing, a, I'm playing a, 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 a wolf gang, playing a wolf gang, uh, or you can be playing any guitar with with the locking nut. With the locking nut, first of all, unlock your nut, take your Allen wrench, unlock your nut, tune your guitar, leave it unlocked, leave it unlocked while you're playing. I mean, while you're tuning. And then take your other, and if you're like on a Floyd Rose, like on Floyd Rose, then your other, uh, your other uh, uh, wrench, use it down here, and and you're going to have to have a some instrument, uh, a screwdriver or whatever, to push in and out the uh bridge so like like if you're if you're on if you're on first of all scratch scratch what i said set uh tune your guitar to a the fifth string fifth string tune it to a and then and then tune everything to a and then go to several different positions on the neck and do octaves now you can use a strobe tuner but a strobe tuner a decent a good the real strobe tuner it can cost you eight hundred dollars man don't hell with that you can get a you can get a, a strobe tuner a, a foot strobe tuner for, for under a hundred bucks but if you've been playing long enough, you can use your ear and just and just do octaves like that. You can do that. Uh, but uh, first of all, tune your guitar. Then go to several different positions on your guitar and play those octaves. Two nose, two nose, and if they're out, if they're out, loosen your bridge, and if it's sharp or flat, push it backwards or forwards. Push your bridge, your bridge backwards or forwards to where it is in, to where it's in, and then see see if your octaves are on like that. And if they're not, just push them in or out. Whether it's sharp or flat, push them in or out. Lock it down. Do it again. Turn it again. And see if it's in. If it's in, cool. And do it all the way down. All the way down. from Or all the way up. You know, which, whichever way you prefer. The, the, whether you're a, whether you're the, the dude that, 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 uh, hey, the first string is, is the bottom E. The top six string is the low E, whatever. But do it in several positions. I do it. I do it 
open first, and then I go to the my my fifth, and I do it all the way down, and then I go to my seventh, and then I have ninth, and I, but uh, ultimately end up on my tenth and twelfth. And if they're in, if all of those are in, then lock everything down. Don't forget to lock your nut. Lock your nut and lock everything down. And if everything's still in tune, and at every at every place that you try it, then then your intonation is most likely in. I guarantee it's in. I mean, I've been playing 42 years. I've done it that way every freaking time since I learned anything about intonation. It's been in every time. Mine's in right now. I can lock mine down. And it's on, man. And uh, just do that, and your intonation will be in. You'll be able to play anywhere up the neck, and your whole guitar will be in tune but if your intonation is not in tune up the neck wherever i'm telling you you can play all the open chords you want and but you can slide up play a bar chord or will not be in. It will not be in tune. It won't be in. It just won't. So, set your intonation the way I described. And, hey man, it'll make your life so much easier because, because you'll be able to play songs because you look, you you'll start playing. You do that up there in open chords, and then you'll slide down to a bar chord or whatever, you know. And you go, and it'll be out, and you go, "What the hell's going on? What the hell is going on?" And you won't know. You won't know what the hell's going on. Your intonation is off. Your intonation is off. That's on. All that's on. Mine's on. It's on. Because I set my own intonation. My when I when I got this guitar initially, man, it was way out. Freaking out. But I said it. I said it. And my life is easier. And if you do the same thing, like I said, do the. If there, if, if the octaves are on up the neck board up the fretboard if they're on then your intonation is on and then you'll be able to play your life be so much easier so much easier please please take my advice and you can use a strobe tuner if you want you know you can get one they're 800 bucks or get a floor floor tuner strobe tuner you got floor stroke tuners. They're under a hundred bucks. But if you've been playing long enough, you can use your ear and just do the octave thing, man. I'm using my ear. You can hear that. It's on. And if it's on, it's on. Do it in several places, though. Do it in several places. Uh, and... It'll make your life so much easier.
make sure your stringed instrument, I don't care what kind of stringed instrument you're playing, make sure your intonation is on. That is a huge piece of advice from Terry Purdue. I learned that the hard way because I used to go through it and go, what in the world is going on? Because it'd be off. But just take my advice. Make sure your intonation is on and it will make your life so much easier when you're playing a string instrument. All right, man. Later.